Messi is one of the greatest players to ever grace the game of football, and the 2022 World Cup was just one of the many exhibitions of that. Of course, the Argentinian magician has so many different facets to his game. Goals, passes, creation, set pieces, dribbles, but today we want to focus on his goal, and not just his goals, the finest of them. Here are Lionel Messi's top 10 goals of all time in no particular order. Number 10. Against PSG in the 2020-2021 Champions League. This one came in the second leg of a Champions League round of 16 game against PSG when Messi was still at Barcelona. The Blaugranas had lost the first leg 4-1 to the Parisian Giants and were hoping for a repeat of La Remontada when they traveled to France for the second leg. But it was just not to be this time around. What was to be, however, was one of the most powerful strikes and one of the finest goals that have ever been produced from the boots of Lionel Messi. He struck the ball so beautifully from 35 yards away and found the top corner of the goal. There was absolutely nothing the keeper could do about that thunderbolt. It was just such a beautiful strike. But when you talk of beautiful strikes from outside the box in a Champions League knockout game, what comes to your mind and why is it this one? Number 9 against Liverpool in the 2018 through 2019 Champions League. There's only a handful of players in the history of football that you'll back to deliver a goal from a free kick more than Lionel Messi. The Argentina national team captain is a dead ball specialist and he continues to prove that over and over again. But perhaps one of the finest free kicks the man has ever scored in his storied career came against Liverpool in the semi-final of the Champions League in 2019. Of course you remember this goal. Everything about it was just so memorable. It had the right amount of curl to take it around the wall and bring it back down at the right time and it was perfectly complemented with just the right velocity to beat the keeper. And then when you consider the distance and the fact that he did this on a really big stage, it just makes the goal even more beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, watching Messi score this next one felt like watching Leonardo da Vinci paint the Mona Lisa live. Number 8 against Real Betis in La Liga 2018 through 2019. When Rakitic passed this ball to Messi here, everyone expected a lot of outcome, but only a few expected Messi to score from there and like that. Messi didn't bother about taking a touch or getting closer to the goal before picking a pass or taking a shot. He just connected with the ball one time and audaciously chipped it beyond the goalkeeper and into the goal. Now, it's one thing to score with the chip, but it's a whole different conversation to score with the chip from pretty much the edge of the 18-yard box and from that angle, too. The goal was so beautiful that rest Betis fans in the stadium had to stand up and give an ovation to the genius. When your opponents applaud your goal, you know it was really beautiful. But to be honest, Messi has not always received cheers and ovations from his opponents. As a matter of fact, he probably got curses rained on him on the day he scored this next goal. Number 7 against Real Madrid in La Liga 2016 through 2017. This particular goal is one you can call a perfect goal. It has everything that makes a memorable goal memorable. It involved really good team play, the ball was moved from literally one end of the pitch to the other, the shot was hit with pinpoint accuracy, the timing of the goal was perfect as it came in the 92nd minute and pretty much ended the game. It was a winning goal. It was against the club's biggest rivals. It was a goal which tore open the title race. Listen, it was really a perfect goal anyhow you look at it. And to make it even more perfect, Messi went and did that iconic celebration in front of the Madrid supporters. And at the Bernabeu too, he made sure that they don't forget the name of the man who scored one of the most heartbreaking goals for them on their own home ground. For sure, Real Madrid fans won't ever be forgetting the name of that man who did that to them in their own backyard. Now, you know another person who won't forget Lionel Messi? Jerome Boateng. Number 6 against Bayern Munich in the 2014 through 2015 Champions League. Yet another really big goal in Messi's unbelievable collection. This was in the semi-final of the UEFA Champions League back in 2015. A goal that absolutely broke the internet. Barcelona were just doing their thing, passing the ball around and dominating play as usual when the ball was passed to Messi on the right wing. Within just a few seconds of receiving the ball, he hacks down Jerome Boateng and his entire 6 foot 3 frame and quickly goes ahead to chip the ball beautifully over 6 foot 4 Manuel Neuer. Really, is there any player in the entire history of the sport that was able to perfect the art of chipping like Lionel Messi has? We really don't think so. But while he may be really good at chipping the ball, he's not half as good in the air. But somehow this diminutive man has still managed to score one of the most beautiful and memorable headed goals in Champions League history. Number 5 against Manchester United in the 2008-2009 Champions League. Do we even need to say anything about this one? Everything about it was just so beautiful and so poetic. How a 5 foot 7 Lionel Messi was able to jump highest to connect to this cross from Xavi and head the ball beyond the reach of a 6 foot 6 Edwin van der Sar in a Champions League final is 
one of the things you may not ever be able to explain no matter how knowledgeable you are on the topic of football. Just watch it over and over and enjoy the beauty of a goal which clinched the 2009 UEFA Champions League trophy for Barcelona. Number 4. Against AC Milan in the 2012-2013 through 2013 Champions League. This goal is just so beautiful. Messi was surrounded by about 5-6 to six players and did not have the time nor space to take too many touches of the ball once it got to him. And well, he didn't need time or space. With just two touches, Messi was able to carve out enough space at the edge of the box and find the top left corner of the goal. That goal is not only memorable because of how beautiful it is. If you remember, Barcelona were two goals down on aggregate going into that game after having lost the first leg 2-0. So the Catalans were looking for inspiration from somewhere to do something that had never been done before. Lose the first leg of a Champions League knockout tie and still advance without the help of the away goal rule. And that inspiration came from none other than Lionel Messi. The strike was just too powerful and beautiful and there was absolutely nothing the Milan defenders or the keeper who was absolutely rooted to the spot could do about it. But when it comes to feeling helpless against Messi, perhaps nobody understands it better than Real Madrid players. Number 3 against Real Madrid in the 2010-2011 Champions League. Who remembers when Messi practically just walked through the Real Madrid defense in the Champions League and scored one of the most beautiful goals we have ever seen in a Clasico game? Of course, we all remember. Messi was magical in that game in 2011 as he was in almost every Clasico he played in. He received the ball for Busquets in the midfield and in one run went past four Real Madrid players and then easily slotted the ball beyond Iker Casillas who was really mad at his defense. But it wasn't really their fault, was it? This is Lionel Messi after all. He can have that effect on absolutely anybody. And even before he waltzed past that Madrid defense that day, he had already done it against another team years before. Number 2. Against Getafe in La Liga 2006 through 2007. This was back then before Messi was the guy. Before he was even wearing the number 10 behind his back. Before he started getting goat shouts. In the game against Getafe, the diminutive Argentinian teenager scored a goal that was so eerily similar to Diego Maradona's goal of the century, which he scored in the quarterfinal of the 1986 World Cup. Messi took the ball from his own half and dribbled past five Getafe players, including the goalkeeper, and put the ball in the back of the net. Many say this is the greatest goal Lionel Messi has ever scored, but there's a large number of people who argue that the greatest ever goal scored by the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner is number one against Athletic Club in 2014 through 2015 Copa del Rey. This is surely one of the most beautiful goals that have ever been scored in the final of any competition whatsoever. Till the date, it is still unclear how that goal was not awarded the FIFA Puskas Award that year. Listen, everything about this goal oozes brilliance. Lionel Messi dribbling past multiple players, the quick change of pace, the pause and restart, the acceleration, the sharp and powerful shot, everything. And to think that he did this in the final of a tournament, it was absolutely mind-blowing. As a matter of fact, analysts have said that that goal was actually scientifically improbable to large extent. Well, I guess that's just proof that Messi is completely out of this world. He's an alien. Anyway, that's our top 10 Lionel Messi goals of all time. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments. And of course, we know that Lionel Messi has many more beautiful goals that didn't even make the cut. To be honest, it's actually so hard to choose when the lad can't even seem to stop himself from scoring really great goals. But if you were to choose the top three goals Messi has ever scored in his entire career, which three would it be for you? Let us know in the comments, even if your choice did not make our top 10.